This one's a favorite of mine. A legend we all know and love. Our hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes. With a voice-wielding power of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe. The Seems there's always more comes. to be done. Nah, I was done talking anyway. Of all Skyrim's foes. Beware, beware, the dragonborn comes. For the darkness has passed and the legend yet grows. You'll know, you'll know. I have no business with you. Comes. Leave me. If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink that outfit. D bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Adventurers were supposed to look tough. I bet my papa could beat you up. Viren said you got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely first sight. Baron's my husband. He works the forge up at Castle Dower. I barely see him nowadays, what with him filling orders for the army. No. That was an ugly affair. High King Torig's death has turned the whole town on its head. Between you and me, he wasn't even that good a king. All of those rambling speeches about the Empire this and the Empire that. Take a look. to bits and pieces anytime. I get to help mother with the shop. I used to help papa too, so I tried to... Papa says I won't see Rob here anymore, but he wouldn't tell me why not. You're passing through solitude? Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold, yes? It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground, or just left lying around in someone's house. I bet the two of us were very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister Deja and I are treasure hunters. We like to collect things. 
I knew you looked like a clever one. With the war, many more ships come through these docks, loaded with weapons and pay, but few people, and they pass through dangerous waters. We have an interest in one of those boats, the Ice Runner. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in, but if its fire were to go out, the Ice Runner would run aground. What an interesting idea. I think if someone were to do something like that, there would definitely be a certain amount of loot to be shared. Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks afterwards, I could certainly direct them to that loot. Don't worry about them. We'll make sure they wash up safe. Maybe they'll even pay us for the heroic rescue from their sad crash. Turn me in? For what? What crime's been committed? I'm just making idle talk about what would most undoubtedly be a tragic event. A tragic and very, very profitable event. It would be best if we spoke little until you've completed your task. Plenty of ways to worship the divines, as you know. I've got some salmon to sell. Plenty of fresh fish for you. Down at the docks. There are a few good spots if you can avoid the East Empire company workers and those red wave thugs. Swari, yes. It's been hard on her. The girl misses her uncle. I've tried to explain that Rodvir did something bad and that we all have to be accountable for our actions. But the child feels what she will. Spiced wine, the taste of home and heart. These are troubled times. Be on your guard out there. You look like you could do with a ripe apple, or a tomato, cabbage, or, or leek. Fresh fish. I have my ways, yours. but it's not easy these days. The black blood marauders have been plundering ships off the coast a lot of people been hurt by their foolishness i have my ways but it's not easy these days the black blood marauders have been plundering ships off the coast a lot of people been hurt by their foolishness that i do I had a messenger from Dragon Bridge stop here on his way to the Blue Palace not too long ago. He was very nervous. Mentioned something about needing help. The finest fish here. Come back when you figure out how to spend money. Mmm. You wouldn't have a few minutes to run down to the docks, would you? Well, I've got a shipment of spices the East Empire Company is holding up. I need someone to convince them to release it. Great. Get back to me when you're done, and I'll give you something for your time. Fresh fish. Straight from the shore. They're adequate. Honestly, I rely on the business brought in by the burning of King Olaf, and that's not likely to happen this year. Well, it's a great big festival put on by the bards every year. They burn an effigy of old King Olaf. It's quite a bit of fun. The bards give out spiced wine during the festival, so they put it in a big order. And then, for weeks after, demand is so high, I can barely keep up. But with the death of High King Torig, the festival has been declared in poor taste. So it looks like it won't happen this year. Oh yes, a secret family recipe. The only good thing my father Octiev ever did. In fact, it's so good, no one else in Skyrim even tries Get to make any. Good luck out there. Seems like a tough time to be wandering Skyrim. 
I'm afraid I'm running errands at the moment, but please visit me later at the Temple of the Divines. Wanderer like you needs a little fire in the veins. Some spiced wine? Fresh fish, straight from the fjords. Hello, my child. R.K., watch over you. All my life, I practically grew up in the hall. My father and mother were the priest and priestess of R.K. before me, you see? I believe I was put here to protect this place from the darkness that pervades solitude. This city has a long history of madness and murder. The Wolf Queen. Pelagius, the death of High King Toric, and now public executions. My books tell the stories, have no doubt, as pretty as its streets are, as jovial as the bards may be, darkness is drawn to solitude. You mean Rogbeer? Yes, I made an appeal to Captain Aldous. He allowed Rogbeer to have a proper Nord burial as is the custom in solitude. May Arke bless you with a long life.
Hey, wanna play tag? Papa says I won't see Rob here anymore. But he wouldn't tell me why not. Pardon me. You, you help, you help people, right? That's what you do. Mother says I shouldn't talk to people. I found the bone. I brought it to you, but still I refuse. Good evening. I'm Pantia Atia, the master vocalist. I'm a bard from the Bard's College here in Solitude. Wanderers like you should think about applying. Now you can say you've met the most talented bard in all of Skyrim. Welcome to the Bard's College. I'm the headmaster here. How may I help you? Always a pleasure to meet a prospective Bard. You should be aware that many apply, but we accept very few people. When possible, we ask applicants to perform tasks the college needs completed. In this case, I do have a task befitting an aspiring Bard. Elisif has forbidden the burning of King Olaf, a festival put on by the Bard's College. We need to change her mind. To convince her, I want to read King Olaf's verse, a part of the poetic Edda, the living history of Skyrim. Unfortunately, the verse was lost long ago. Yes, according to Giraud, our history's keeper, the portion of the Edda dealing with King Olaf might still exist in Dead Man's Respite. I need you to retrieve the poem. Uh, not much, but as a bard, I find the whole affair depressing. There are no heroes in this war, no winners to be had, and no real conclusion. If you want something a bard can dig into, look to the dragons. A thousand years from now, Skyrim will have changed rulers dozens of times. But the return of the dragons, that story is once in an era. Not much, to be honest. Their return was a shock to us all. Gerard Germain has some tomes about them in the library, if you're interested. I think Giraud here would give you the best explanation of both it and the history of King Olaf's verse. You should speak to him about it. As you may be aware, Elisif's husband, High King Torig, was recently killed. Elisif mourns her husband deeply, and she feels that a festival that burns a king in effigy is distasteful. I tried to convince her the festival is many centuries old and celebrates solitude, but I need proof. I believe King Olaf's verse will provide that proof. I wish you luck in finding the verse. Good to meet a prospective bard. Well, you've come to the right place. He's sending you after King Olaf's verse, then. That's good. We shouldn't leave it lying around now that I've figured out where it is. The verse was Svaknir's contribution to the Poetic Edda, the living history of Skyrim. Each bard adds to the Edda in his or her time. And a very ancient one. 
The verse criticized the reigning King Olaf. He was so incensed the bard was put to death and all the copies burned. At least, that's what we thought until I translated some ancient texts a year or so ago. We now believe King Olaf buried the truth with the bard. If I'm right, Svaknir and King Olaf's verse lie in dead men's respite, along with the burial chamber of King Olaf himself. Be careful. You might find more than just King Olaf's verse in Dead Man's Respite. What year I am Dean of Loot at the Bard's the College, and no, I don't give private lessons. Good Ildi, soak in the lore. Yorn, what happened during the Red Year? suffered a massive explosion? Vardenfell's... mountain erupts. Try to be precise, Yorn. Remember, being a bard isn't just about the music. Lady Atia says my voice is second only to hers, but she's selling me short. Few can resist my charms. Even fewer are worthy of them. I can't understand why Yorn would want to join the Imperial... Soldiers only appreciate one thing, and it isn't music.
Yes. You're new. You know, I don't get the impression that I'm very well liked at the college. Need something? What can I do for you? Need something? Need something? Need something? Youngest bard at the Bard's College, at your service. What can I do for you? Yes. Hmm. Oh, did you need something? It's only to graduate and enroll with the Legion. My drums will lead our troops to victory. Oh, did you need something? Anything I can do for you, I will. It's an honor to have Viarmo for instruction on drum, but it's far too reserved the for The pleasure's my all mine. Yarmo is too concerned with oh, precision. Oh, you need something? What of instinct? Hmm? What of passion? Lisette's a fine lass, but when I join the Legion, she's not the type to wait for my return. <sighs> yes? Need something? What can I do? Youngest bard at the Bard's College, at your service. Early rendition tomorrow, understand? At this point, yes. I hardly see how your advice would improve it. It's flawless. I'll be the judge of that. Now back to your practice. Need something?
Pardon me, but I trust you've been working on your poem on the classical heroes of Skyrim, yes? I'm sure it will be fine. Just don't be late.
Youngest bard at the Bard's College, at your service. are served to bards at designated times. Find an inn if you want to make requests. Dean Inga says a bard can never have enough practice, so would you like a tune? You look like you could do with a ripe apple, or a tomato, cabbage, or leek, an apple to keep you healthy, a tomato to keep you strong. But surely you need one or the other. Come back when you figure out how to spend money. Yeah. I, I'm the headsman here in solitude. It's my job. Depends on what you mean by busy. I'm also the head jailer in the dungeon here. Quiet job, usually. Keep your head about you. You get around, right? If you come across any storm cloaks, come for me, huh? They did the same to my brother in Whiterun.
Got lots of things to take care of. What do you need? What do you need? Don't suppose you'd enchant my sword. Dull old blade can barely cut butter. Watch your feet. We just clean there. Need something? Respect the law, and you'll have no trouble in Dragonbridge. Mind you don't cross Tassius. He's in charge around here. If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. It's quite fetching, actually. The craftsmanship is excellent. Oh, really? Well, you can tell them that I will be putting in a request for a few dresses quite soon. Because that's what traitorous cowards do when they desire power. Ulfric coveted the High King's throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torig. And so he came before my husband and he... He shouted. With that terrible voice. Like something out of a legend. Or a nightmare. When Ulfric unleashed such fury... My husband, he... He simply ceased to be. That is all I will say. Or it grieves me to speak of it. Not yet, no. Although it is true my husband Torig was the High King, and I am his widow. Now is not the time to lay claim to such a title. This land is riven by war, and her people suffer for it. The Stormcloaks are a blight on Skyrim, and like any blight, must be purged. Only then will I take my rightful place as High Queen. Hmm. A question I am all too familiar with. One my very thanes ask often. They worry that Tullius is so focused on the war that he risks forgetting what's best for our people. The real irony is that, while General Tullius is certainly no Nord, the people of Skyrim would be lost without him. Trust is always difficult, especially for my people. Yet we must trust in Tullius's leadership. For what other choice do we have? Be well. Pray for solitude and my husband. 
If I needed something from you, you would know it. I was a member of the court during the reign of Torg's father. It was Torg who appointed me to the position. Very. I helped raise him. Oh, I could not have been more proud to see Torg on the throne. He made a fine king. A fine king. I can teach you, but I won't be held responsible for what you do with the knowledge. No time or patience for a student. Perhaps the College of Winterhold will grant you admission. I was to my shame. The whole court was in attendance. I've seen much in my time, but that was a gruesome day. Because Ulfric needed a symbol. Someone he could defeat that represented the Empire. The White Gold Concordat. The banning of Talos' worship. Torig's father Islot had held Skyrim together for nearly 25 years. When he died, Torg became that symbol. No, even after Islot died, the moot voted to make Torig High King of Skyrim. But Ulfric was at that moot, continually talking about Skyrim's independence in terms just shy of treason. I don't think Ulfric knew how much Torg respected him for that. If Ulfric had asked Torg directly to stand up, to declare independence, Torg might have done it. Because the Dominion is a sleeping beast that Skyrim cannot slay alone. Because many Nords are part of the Imperial Army even now. Because the food and resources we get from the Empire are important to our people. Because even if we can't openly worship him, Talos the God was once Tiber Septim the Man, and this is his empire. And Torg wasn't ready to let it fall apart. Nothing. I'm busy, and I don't like being bothered unless I'm expecting something from you. Oh, don't give me that look. Fine, I suppose I can find some menial task to set your mind on. Hmm. We have something of a vampire problem. Bodies have been found with blood drained. I know of a den nearby you can wipe out as a precaution. I don't expect you to be capable of even that. Vampires are clever hunters. More clever than you, definitely. Do you have business with the court? I am the Jarl's steward. If you have court business to tend to, you talk to me. Oh, right, the rum. Thank you. I developed a taste for it after a fair weather trip to Hammerfell. Here, this is for you. That remains to be seen. By rights, she has a legitimate claim as High Queen of Skyrim. But we must have the support of the other Jarls for that claim to have any meaning. Should they accept her rule, we will have peace. Of course he does. What sort of a question is that? Maybe you've been listening to Eriker. There's been loose talk among some of the Thanes, and I suspect he's the cause of it. You'll pay those rumors no heed, if you wish to retain your welcome in this city. She may be young, but Elisif is the Jarl by right. And here in Skyrim, if nothing else, we respect the traditions of our father's fathers. You'd do well to remember that. 
Feel free to return to me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open forum. Be quick. Please address I all questions to the steward, Folk Firebeard. My duty is to keep the Jarl safe, not play nursemaid to you sycophants. I have so very many ways to deal with people. Very few of them pleasant. Respect the law, and you'll have no trouble in Dragonbridge. The Imperials are good for business, and business is good for Skyrim. Oh, most certainly. At least when Elisif herself asks. If you're inquiring whether we have concerns about her age and inexperience, uh, let me put it this way. The Thanes have every confidence in General Tullius' leadership. I'm a Thane. In the future, you may want to gain that information before talking with someone. Risk of looking like an idiot and all that. I must return to the court. They simply can't make do without me. Spire Manor. Now there's a fine home. Up for sale, too. So excited. Before to coming to the town, in the key. I bet you've had plenty of adventures. Hands to yourself, sneak thief. I may look the part of dashing swordsman, but I prefer the art of wit to that of warfare. Papa says I won't see Rogvir anymore. But he Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Let me know if there's anything else you need. 